this is something which we would love to live. Uh, this is a we would love to buy. I mean, I don't know. Then, What would you do here? Like, I might get a work over here. Mm -hmm. I can do something. I know Samit is really excited about this opportunity, but I don't know. I, I'm not really sold yet. So this is the place. This is where all the magic happens. Yeah. My name is Jenny. I'm 65 years old. I'm from Palm Springs, California, currently living in India. I am Sumit, uh, age 35. I am born and raised in Delhi and currently living in uh, Greater Noida. And now here we are, yeah. we are together. I'm uh, running, uh, or is a part of a uh, cooking uh, business. And that's how we are living our life together. We met online, we've actually been dating since 2011, which is like, what, we're going on 12 years now, 13? Yeah. I used to uh, play online gaming, and uh, that's how I met Jenny. I used to use a, a different name called Michael with a different picture. And later on, I, I like come clean and said, "This is Sumit from India, and I am working call center." When Jenny came to India first time in 2013, I remember a uh, very first moment my mom saw Jenny and she asked me to send her back. There's a big struggle with the family in order to uh, get the acceptance for the Jenny, so Jenny and I can get married. मैं शादी करने की सोच रहा हूँ दोबारा परमिशन मांगता हूँ शादी जिस दिन तूने शादी कर ली उस दिन हमारी लाश पर से गुजरना होगा तेरे को Oh, oh, oh. oh, the refrigerator. We've come a long way with his parents. We even got his father's approval at the tell-all. I, Sumit and Jenny have blessings from me. We're still holding out for mom's approval. She'll be visiting us in a couple of days. And she's always been the hardest one to get approval from, so we're just hoping for the best. Okay, I'm sure it won't be out. It won't be out long because this just happens. Lights will come back on. There it is. There it is. Okay, lights are back. All is well at Rice and Spice. Yeah. We open a cloud kitchen, and it's it's good. Like we are now have a. A good customer base, and my cooking art is improving. Opening a restaurant, it's it's something uh, I always wanted to do. The new dish which I am trying to prepare is called a dal palak. Uh, palak means spinach. It's not very oily. It's not very spicy. It's good. It's a regular uh, everyday dish. That looks good. Uh, Uh, I always test out my dishes on Jenny. Uh, Jenny uh, is used, it's like a guinea pig to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, his food's good. I love everything that he cooks. It's uh, all good. Right now, you're going to get my honest opinion how this is. Should we add this to the menu? Yeah, that's what I want. Definitely a little more spicy than I'm used to eating, you know. But it's good though. The flavor is very good. I yeah. like it with the spinach. I'm proud of myself. I am proud of you too, baby. This is Thank really you. good. So, how do you feel about meeting my parents again? Oh, uh, your father is blessing. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Like, I was, I was shocked. I was so surprised, but so happy. All I could do is put my hands together and just thank you so much. Yes. My father understands, and I think his accepting our relationship it made my mother, uh, it's make a little easier for her to accept it. I hope so. Or it's kind of a kind of pressure now the father also accepted. 
But still, like I feel like I was very happy when my mother called and wished her Happy New Year. Me too. I can't get over that. that like, was I was a, so surprised. Uh, that was a surprise for me too. It's a positive step forward in the right direction. Uh, you know, with me and your mom trying mm -hmm. to maybe have some sort of a relationship. Yeah. Well, I'm getting ready because guess what? We got invited to uh, have chai with Smith's parents, and I'm so nervous. Like, I'm trying to, I waved my hair a little bit, trying to look nice. I've worked really hard to build a relationship with Smith's parents, so I'm hoping it all goes well, but I'm nervous. It's me, the parents' time. Uh, the last time I saw Smith's mom was when he told her that we were married, and the outcome of that meeting wasn't very good. You there? Yeah. So it's been about a year and a half since I've seen his mom. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys are here, especially Mom. Thank you. 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 Thank So I went into this hoping for acceptance and wow, I got more than I asked for, more than I expected. I feel like I'm on the other side of this. This is something that, you know, Smith and I have been hoping for this whole entire time. Smith has never gave up on his parents and, and being hopeful. And now here we are, and it's really actually happening. Finally, they, they see us together. We're married, we're happy, we love each other. And finally, they see it, and they're accepting it. Uh, I've been uh, fighting for love, like love of my life, love of my family. Uh, all together since a long time and finally it looks like that achieved that my family looking uh, happy uh, together and that one of the best thing I can I can ever get in my life. Are you gonna pack everything yourself? Yeah. What, what like like what, do you want me this, these clothes? Right? Yeah, these are the clothes I pulled out of my closet. Okay. Yeah, you don't need that much. We are going okay. for oh. Only. He's telling a woman she don't need him. Ah! Ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Today we're heading to Thailand to meet up with our friends David and Annie. I met David and Annie two years ago when they were driving through California. I haven't known them for that long, but recently they reached out to us to come join them in Thailand. Hi, David. Hi, Annie. Hey, guys. You know, if you guys have a chance, you ought to come over while we're here. It's not far. Jenny, if you want to get away from your mother-in-law for the weekend, come to Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I, what I had in mind is, you know, we have a condo that, you know, either for rent for sale, that even just to look at, you know, kind of uh -huh. give you a feel of what the expat life is there. Yeah, that would be exciting. We all plan it and we will come to Thailand and we'll all get together and have a great time. 
I'm really excited to go to Thailand, but I really hope we don't come back owning a condo. We are now running to gate 14. As you can see, we have 10 minutes left. 10 minutes to get to the gate. <laughs> All right, well, wish us luck. I'm really excited to go and see Thailand because I never traveled outside India. But now it looks like that my life is very peaceful and happy now. Now it's a time for me to just live happy and explore other countries too. We're on the plane. Yeah. It's hot. Oh. We're not in India anymore. Yeah. Go now. I see them. I see them. I'm going to go now. Welcome to Thailand. Oh, hey, guys. This is Gahab. You too. I love your outfit. Oh, I did. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Great. Landing here in, in Thailand, like, uh, this is an amazing place, as been explained by David. So I feel like that this is going to be a, a absolutely fun. And I'm hoping a lot, uh, a lot from uh, this trip. On the way to Pattaya, we stopped and we tried some of the street food. Oh! If you want spice, I made some spices. Now you are shiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't know. Oh, for some, you chopstick. They've got, oh, oh wow, you good got job, it. good job. Oh, yes. Duck noodle with, the egg noodle with duck. I did it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I tried uh, like uh, whatever I never tried before. My first uh, duck, uh, my oh. first crab, and I would say Lake Typhoon, one of the best food in the world. Floating market. That's for the ladies. Yeah. I like that. That's yeah, so it's cool. Good. good. Jenny, do you like the shopping? Yes, I could spend a lot of money in there. Everything's so beautiful. <laughs> that was amazing. We loved it. We got to ride on a boat. If the boat is a rockin', don't come and knockin'. <laughs> oh, that's a buffalo over there. Yeah. Where? Oh, yes. Oh. That's a white buffalo. That's what you get, David? Two of them. We don't see this in India. No, not at all. Yeah, this is beautiful. We haven't even made it to the condo yet, and we've already seen so much, tried food. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> Experienced places I never thought I would experience before in my life. Did you enjoy it? That oh, was good. I like those mushroom, fried mushroom things. Those were good. It's it's a lot more exciting. Like, yes. Everybody's out doing something. Yeah. In America, everybody's hiding in their house. You don't even know your next Yeah, you don't even know. Yes. You know, in uh, like in our condo, the two bed, we might stay home one night because mm -hmm. it's less expensive to go out to eat than it is to cook at home sometimes. Here we go. This our home. You're home for a couple of days. Wow. Ready? You want to go? Yes. Dun, da, da, da. Dun, da, da. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's so small. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a bedroom. You can open yeah. to the bedroom. That's going to be your boom boom room <laughs> for company. That's your boom boom room. I love the pink bedding. <laughs> it's cute. It's easy to clean. Very now that you've had a grand tour of the place, let's sit down, let's chat for a little bit. I know it's not large. No, but it's super cute. But it's good. You're so close to everything. You're so close to the beach, and there's bars, coffee shops, restaurants, massage. And there's opportunity in this area, you know, whether you want to stay retired, whether you want to dabble in business. What I want you to do is stay for a few days, see how it feels if it... Obviously, it's exciting, it's new. See, is it something that I could see myself being in? Right. Yeah. Exactly. You know what, the David is making some good points. Yeah, but this is, you know what this sounds like to me? Like, it sounds like the classic timeshare pitch. <laughs> <laughs> really laying it on thick. 
Um, I think it's something we would have to talk about. Okay, wow. We came to Thailand for sort of a little vacation and visit with David and Annie, but David's turned into a real estate agent trying to sell us this condo. What do you think about the pot pen? I think it's um, really cute. Uh -huh. I think it's really nice. This entire building and apartment, this is very beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, this is something which I, uh -huh. uh, you can say that this is something which I ever dream about. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, even from outside, like the pool mm. and the gym is so nice. Everything is new and modern. And riding up in the elevator, like, mm. you couldn't even hear the elevator. Yeah. It was so quiet. Then I don't think that anything is better than this because it's near to wind here. Affordable, not very expensive. This is something which we would love to live. Uh, this is a we would love to buy. I mean, I don't know. Then, what would you do here? Like, I might get a work over here. Mm -hmm. I can do something. We might rent it and earn money. So we might buy it for the investment purpose as well. Like, I don't think it's bad at all. I know Samit is really excited about this opportunity, but I don't know. I'm not really sold yet. So we'll just live here for three days and see if we can actually live here. If yeah. we can live in something like this. Because it is a lot smaller than what we're living in now. I know that. So once, if we able to decide that, then we will move to the next, next step. Okay. Because it's fresh. Yeah. Fresh. Electrolyte. Jenny and Smith, have you guys ever tried a fish massage before? We have it in India right now. Ah. That's going to be a very, very good experience. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think my picture was... <laughs> <laughs> I think my picture was... It's signaling, it's like, oh. It's, ah, it's a lot. Like, it's just oh, like, oh my God. It's like small, uh, shocking. Like something that's it, going like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys think of Pati so far? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't know I was going to come see the fish, but this, it's great. This is a lot of fun. That's, it's just so different here, though. Just way different. Could you see yourself living here? I, I think we, I mean, we have a lot to figure out. Like, we, yeah. we have to go back to India and figure out a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I mean, it's a very fun place. A lot of stuff happening. We're so um, used to India. My roots have settled down there. That's home. India has become home to me. So, I mean, if we decide to move to Thailand, um, I don't, I, I really can't say how it, how it would impact my relationship with his parents. That's why I'm saying, you know, we need to go back to India and talk about this. Like, how, how would it impact my relationship with your parents? We, I've already been working so hard. Yeah. So we, it's something that we need to seriously think about, you know? It's not something we can just jump up and do. Look, you're my friends. I'd rather have somebody in there. Even the option of renting it, that way down the road, if you decide you want to buy it, fine. If not, I I don't want to leave it empty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we it, it'd be fun for us to come maybe like two or three months. Yes. Rent it for a yes. little while and then go back to India. Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah. And you never know. I mean, from out of that, you never know what it can lead to. Absolutely.